Hey coach, welcome back to our channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content. And if you want to get in contact with me, there's two ways you can do that. If you visit the Canly link in the description of this video, you can either book a free 15 to 20 minute call with me where we jump on Zoom. I see where you are with your, with your training business and I can show you some actionable steps to take this week to grow and scale what you're currently doing. Now, if you don't want to get on a call with me, you can just simply send me an email to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com. I will get back to you within 24 hours of receiving that email, right? I make it a mission every single day to, to connect with coaches, help coaches. And if you are a good fit for what we currently offer at our company, then that's something we can definitely discuss over a call as well. So today is Monday and... I wanted to make this video because over the weekend, a very important tournament uh, kicked off, which was the under 20s uh, men's World Cup tournament, which is being held in Argentina. Now, on Saturday, I watched uh, the US against Ecuador, right? Now, for those that don't know me on, on a more personal level, right, I like to watch football soccer from all around the world okay but what i've started to do a lot recently is i've started to watch a lot of the younger age groups so a lot of the under 21s under 20s under 17s and the reason because i've stopped i've stopped kind of watching the more popular uh, teams and and the men's is just pretty much the, the the main reason is because most of my clients are at the youth level so watching those type of matches i can kind of relate to what my clients uh, need help with or, or where the game is going okay so if you are a soccer coach right and you've got a business something i would definitely encourage you to do a little bit more of is watch the younger age groups okay a lot of the coaches always focus on the popular popular games such as watching Manchester City, watching Arsenal, watching Liverpool, watching Barcelona, Real Madrid. Now, that's all fine, okay? And that's all fine if you coach men's soccer, men's football. But if you coach at the youth level, then it's really good to watch the younger age groups, okay? And the reason is because you get to see what the future of the game is going to start to look like and how you, with a training business, can adapt to those changes right so wanted to come on here and make this really short video because something i'm i'm seeing and the, the future of this game and where this future is going by simply watching the u.s men's national team is you know as trainers we are in a very special position okay and if you have a business at the moment okay it's time to step it up now because the game is, well, it probably has already, but the game is going in the direction where it's becoming very technical and players need to be at a really technical level to get to that, to that next level, okay? So something I've seen from watching, watching the US uh, under 20 men's national team is that the players today, they have to be good with possession right so, so essentially they have to be good with the ball at their feet they need to be able to make quick decisions they need to be able to be confident at 1v1s okay so all of these things how does it relate to my business which you're going to be asking me right all of these things are really important because they relate to your business because when you sit down and you you look at your coaching program that you have in place for your clients you can start to pinpoint areas where the game is going. Okay, so if players are coming into me who are serious, they want to get to the next level, this is how your coaching service is going to help them to get to that next level. By watching the older age groups, so watching the under 17s, under 18s, under 19s, under 20s, and seeing how those players are being developed okay, and adapting your coaching to solve the problem of your clients. So in my academy, 
right? And in my business currently, what I specialize in is I specialize a lot more on, on possession-based uh, soccer or football. So everything we do in, in our training sessions is done with a ball at the, uh, at the player's foot, feet and being confident at passing and receiving. Every single drill, every single session, every single activity I do, I make sure that everything is touch, go, touch, go, or rece pass, receive, pass, receive, pass, receive. Because that's where I see the game going. Okay, I That's where I see my clients getting the most success with. And that's where I see my business growing to the next level because that's essentially the problem I'm looking to solve for any new clients that are coming into my program. Okay, so you as a coach, right, you, you might not think the same, which is completely fine. And that's, that's the beauty of this industry. Everyone is at a different uh, level. Everyone has their different philosophy with their business. That's completely fine. But something I definitely want to encourage you to do is watch tournaments like, such as the under 20s or the under 21s, under 17s. Watch games, watch tournaments and see where this industry is going in terms of player development. Okay? Because even though we have, a, we have a business, we have a service that we're offering clients, we still have to be up to date with what is going on and what and where player development is going. Okay? Because most of the players we work with, they do play for teams. And teams and clubs, they have a specific philosophy and that philosophy tends to be attached to what your local football association or soccer association in that country you're in are currently doing. Okay, so I, something I'm seeing obviously with, with US coaches and US players, it's technical. Technical, technical, technical is growing, right? So players have to be confident at receiving, playing one touch, right? They have to be confident on the ball, in one-on-one -on -one situations, right? And also now, okay, if you watch a soccer game today, there's very, very rarely do, do teams play the ball from goalkeeper straight out to, to, the, to the attacker, right? To the striker. Now, nowadays, everything is done. Everything is build up play. So the ball starts from the goalkeeper, goes into the defender, into the midfielder, and then straight into the striker, and it finishes a goal, right? So what that means is that your clients, okay, have to be able and have to be, be able to play into feet, okay? Into feet in tight situations, and they need to be confident at playing one touch, two touch, okay? And playing gives and goes, okay? Because that is the way the game is going. And in terms of your, your development and in terms of how you're developing your clients and how you're making them more successful, that is definitely an area or a type of training that you need to be implementing because it's going to get great results for the clients you're working with, right? So essentially, watch my message today is watch the younger age groups. Don't focus so much on what adults are doing. Okay, even though it's fun to watch, it's exciting. But if you work with youth players, okay, you can you you'll be able to relate a lot more on what the under 17s, under 20s, under 21s are doing because it's closer to it's it's kind of the next step from where your players are currently are at the moment, okay? And then what they're doing, you can kind of adapt into your clients and develop them in a way where they, they're getting great results, great success, and you're pushing them to play and to become the player they want to be at that next level, okay? So if you need any more help with anything that I talked about today, okay, get in contact with me, send me a uh, either an email to make money coaching sports at gmail.com or we can schedule a free one-on-one -on -one, uh, call where we jump on zoom i see where you are with your business i see where, where you want to get to and i can show you some actionable steps to take this week to grow and scale what you're doing okay thank you for watching and make sure before you go you subscribe to our channel